Hello Uncoiled here. In this video, I'm going to be releasing my settings both in OBS and in Lunar. So if you enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe onto the video. Okay, to start it off for my in-game settings, I use 87 for my FOV. Um, for my video settings, I use pretty much the basic for everything. Uh, my render distance I like mess around with occasionally. It's always around 12. I have uh, fancy graphics. Um, I set my frame rate to unlimited. Uh, everything else here is pretty normal. I do not use v uh, view bobbing. And for quality, these are the things. You can pause the video and see if you want to change that. Um, and then for animations, I have everything on. I have particles decreased. And then for the performance, I have this. And then, so that, that's pretty much the gist of my in-game settings, really. Um, shaders, if you want to know for like the intros and whatnot, I use the Silders Vibrant shaders. Depending on what I feel like, I use I use either use the motion blur or the normal. Um, and then for lunar client settings, so to get my config. I am going to be linking it in the description. So essentially all that I use really is the sprinting toggled, the WASD, like the keystrokes, the texture pack, or whatever. Uh, I use the armor HUD so you can see, I can see what my armor is. I use the FPS combo, like how far I'm hitting people from ping, and then of course potion effects on the side. I'll be linking it in the description if you want to copy that. Okay, and then also one last thing that I forgot to mention. Um, I also do have a bit unusual controls for like the keybinds and whatnot. So I have the basic set up through one to seven, but then I have eight is F since it's kind of close to WASD. Then I have V for nine inventory is the normal E. I don't really use any of this stuff. Plus free, free look doesn't even work anymore. Um, I have toggle of perspective as R since that's also close to E and like whatnot, so it's pretty easy to hockey. Then I have zoom is Y. I have everything else pretty much the same. My toggle sprint button is I, um, because it's kind of like far away, so I won't accidentally toggle it on and off when I'm playing. Then everything else is pretty much the same. Um, one thing that I do do when I am playing video games is I turn on Windows Lock, which essentially makes it so that um, whenever you press Windows key, because I'm on a Windows. If sometimes you press Windows, it just kicks you out of the game, and I've actually died to that many times. So just make sure to turn on Windows Lock, and that will never happen again. On to the OBS settings. Okay, so here is my OBS settings. I use, I set my input volume a little bit down because otherwise it hears my um, computer fan in the background. So I have it set down a bit. Everything else is pretty much the same. I have it set to the game capture. Um, audio input and then video capture which is my camera but I have that set off right now so for settings I have pretty much the basic stuff here I'll go through it slowly so you can look through it um, I'm pretty sure everything is basic and normal for the general um, but then for the output which is the main thing I am using OBS to 25.0.8 the 64-bit version and for this, I am using the encoder NVIDIA NVEC H.264 new. Um, for I'm also using the preset for Max, and 18 is pretty good. If you like, around 16 is pretty good, and the like quality will be very good as well. Um, for recording, I have it set to my hard drive location. That literally does not matter. It depends on what you do. I have it set to MP4 because that's usually the best. Um, for videos, I have everything else pretty much the same. I set the Q, uh, CQ level to 18 like the other side. Make it make sure it's CQP, max performance, and high. Then for audio, just the normal stuff and replay buffer I don't deal with. And by the way, when you're doing this, make sure it's in advance because you won't be able to see it otherwise. Then for audio, I just have it set to 48 kilohertz. That also depends on your microphone. For example, my old my old microphone was a 44 kilohertz thing, so you have to make sure to change that. Um, and then video, of course, you want to make it 1920 by 1080. And I use Langsos 36 samples sharp scaling. And this is the 
uh, FPS you want to record your video in. So I do 120. Um, so it's it's very clean and there isn't any like drag or whatnot. Then hotkeys, I don't really do anything for general. Uh, I have the process pr priority very high. I have the color space set to 601 and the color range partial. The color format is NV12 and Direct 3D 11. Everything else here is basic. I did not change anything. I think the only thing is I set the retry, del retry delay to 7 seconds and the maximum retry is to 20. And I'm pretty sure that is everything um, for my OBS settings. Okay, so one last thing that I do for majority of my videos is I like upscaling it to 4K. Um, to do that, I will link a tutorial in the description down below. But once you have it set up, all you have to do is get your pre-recorded video, your finished thing, whatever. Then you want to name it convert, then you're going to double click the 4K upscale and it will do it. It'll take about like a minute or two to upscale the video and then you can upload it to YouTube from right there. Um, and if you're wondering for what the code that I use, it is this. Um, I will also put this in the description so you can copy and paste it. It, lo it looks very good and the renders come out very clean. Okay, for the last thing here, I'm going to be going over my Sony Vegas Pro 18 settings and rendering settings as well. So, to start it off for my settings here, um, I have it set to custom 120 FPS because that's what I recorded in, in OBS. I have it 1920 by 1080. I have this stuff is the same. The frame rate I set to 120 because of the videos in 120 as well. The pixel format is 8 bit, 8 bit full range. Everything else you can't really touch. I set the rendering quality to good. Motion blur to Gaussian. Uh, Diane lace method, blend fields, and resample mode, smart resample. Then for the file location, you can adjust that um, depending on your computer. Everything else here is basic and normal. I didn't change anything. It's just what it, the preset is. And then for my rendering settings here, I have a custom one that is similar to Melting PVPs, except I have an alternate version because whenever I add webcam or whatever, the file size just becomes absolutely huge. And as you can see here, it's only 48 megabytes. This is because I made an adjustment to the rendering. The quality stays the same, but the file size shrinks, so you, it doesn't take up as much storage on your computer. So if I can customize this template here, you can see what I have done. So to start it off, I have made the frame size 1080, so 1920 by 1080. The profile is high, the frame rate is 60 FPS, the pixel aspect ratio is 1, the constant bit rate is 968,000, and the encode mode is NV encoder. And the main thing that's really important is changing this to CBR. This is what decreases the file size, but keeps the quality very good. Um, and then audio is the same as its preset. Uh, I mean, depending on your microphone as well. So if you have 44 Hertz, you need to make sure to change that or whatever these other versions are. Bit rate doesn't really matter that much. This will increase your lag slash decrease your lag. I use 192,000, it's pretty good. Um, and that is the gist of it. So once you set this up, you can press OK and then use it as whatever you want. You can star it so it comes up pretty clearly. And then make sure it's also magic AVC slash AAC MP4. And then once you're done, you just press render and it will take, depending on how long your video can take anywhere between 10 to 30 minutes. And that's my Sony Vegas Pro settings. These settings that I use here in this video, they're all high tier, like high performance and whatnot. If your computer cannot handle it, there are many videos on the internet that you can search up and try to minimize them a bit. But these are the best possible settings to get your great videos if you have a good enough computer to support it. I have a 1660 Ti, so that's pretty good. And if you enjoyed this video, uh, consider liking and subscribing. Bye.